Hey guys, um, here I am in Maya 2020, and I was just playing around and I opened up one of my older characters. So this is a character I made uh, a long time ago, probably five years or, or more. And he's just a crazy little uh, alien slug, and um, you can see all the joints are in place. And uh, the rigging is pretty simple, but it's just kind of fun uh, uh crazy little animation. Now, one thing that um, I would like to add is maybe it would be also cool if the character was blinking. So, you know, there's a couple different ways to do it. We can add uh, a joint on top and the bottom and create the blinking animation with joints. Or I thought it would be really cool to make like a mini tutorial on how would that be done using blend shapes. So to do it with blend shapes, it's actually uh, really simple. Um, all I'm going to do is go to Windows, then go to Animation uh, Editors, and go to um, Shape Editor. And this little window comes up. And right now there's no blend shapes on this character, right? So this is a low poly game character. Um, and what I would like to do is add a blend shape, which then could be controlled inside a game engine. So like in Unity 3D, for example, if we create a blend shape of him blinking, then there'll be a slider in Unity 3D that a developer can slide and make the character blink um, at will at any, you know, at any point they want. So let's go ahead and create a blend shape. And I'm going to call this one eye because he only has one eye. And then I'm going to say add target. Okay. And I'm going to call this uh, blink. So obviously we can create as many targets as we want. But I just want to do something really simple. And oops, I didn't mean to do that. And so it's going to be called blink. So you could see that it's still uh, it's set to the edit mode. And the key is not set. The key is going to be uh, set. Um, these this but you know this little thing here refers to the key on the timeline so if you want something open or closed this is for uh, animation so we can do that in, in a minute but for now uh, let's just simply create the the blend shape for him um, blinking right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure this is selected and I'm gonna go to sculpting and I'm gonna head over to this uh, fourth one called grab tool i'm going to click on it hold down b to kind of make it a little larger and my uh, x object x is selected so i can you could see that it's symmetrical and what i can do i can just very slowly kind of begin to pull up or modify the shape um, to make it look like what i would think happens when he blinks so you can pull this around and then um, if you want to smooth it, you can hold down the shift key and just kind of smooth it out. And you can control the strength of um, your stroke right here. So that's important to, to understand. I'm going to make this larger and just keep pulling this up. And I'm going to begin to pull this down. So the top, top lid kind of comes down and the bottom lid kind of comes up and I'm just gonna move them together something like that I think is what I was looking for hold down the shift key to just make sure that this is sort of uh, has nice topology so you can see the topology is kind of running along the edges there it doesn't look too too distorted right because we don't want to distort the actual texture of the character when he's textured so keep that in mind and now to kind of seal the deal, we can keep using this uh, grab tool or we can jump over here and use the bulge tool. So I'm going to click on bulge and my strength is at 1.2. Let's see what that means. And just kind of, I like it uh, kind of weak and so this way I can drag it around and do it very gradually. That's just my own preference. So something like that I think is what I was looking for as far as like what happens when he closes his eye. Again, remember you can hold on the shift to smooth it out, but I think this looks pretty good. 
and now let's test and see what that actually looks like so if we drag this little slider we can see that our eye closes and opens and we can even close it and let's see I'm looking at this spot here it's kind of weird so I'm gonna smooth it out um, so even if we uh, close the eye right we can actually play the animation and see what happens with when the uh, eye is kind of closed which is kind of crazy looking but um, if the character is kind of idle then you can control the eye much better right so maybe you don't want to actually have him blink when he is jumping uh, but I just wanted to show you that and if you actually are finished making your blend shape you can just click on this button and that means you are done editing and now if we wanted to we can go to frame 1 or 0 and press um, S or press key I mean press key here and set this to like 0 right and then let's go to like well just for the sake of this exercise I'm just gonna go to like 3 and drag this up and you can see the key has been set so now there's a key on zero being open and then close and then maybe it opens again on five so he kind of does blink and then he does his chewing and then resets so that's all uh, there is to it and then if you just simply export him out by um, selecting your mesh and the joints then you can export him out into a game engine and in the game engine uh, you will see the same exact slider and there you can control the blinking which is really cool and very simple and at any point if you wanted to modify uh, the blinking keyframes you could see uh, there's a little trick you could see that the keyframes are actually not showing up here when you click on the joints you can see the keyframes are right there on the timeline the red lines right these are my keys but if I click on the actual mesh and try to look for the blend shapes, there are no keyframes key for the blend shapes. So to actually see those, um, all you have to do is go to uh, channel box and click on in the inputs, uh, click on your eye and then you'll see, oh, there they are. So here you can actually right click and, for example, you know, delete it. So that's how uh, easy it is, and if you want to hold down the shift key and click on one of the keys, you can actually move them around. So I just wanted to show you that little uh, trick, and hopefully that was simple enough so now you can add uh, cool blend shapes to your characters. Something like blinking, or uh, maybe talking, moving uh, mouth, tongue, lips, all that stuff could be done with blend shapes. Alright, so subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.